Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty Moss of Moss Photography and on this channel we do boudoir photography, self-portrait photography, and we talk about all things self-love and artistry based. And today I have an amazing guest in the studio. She's not here yet, so just pretend that she's here. Um, and we are going to be doing a boudoir shower set. So I have a DIY shower that I wanted to show you how to set up, how I set it up anyways. I'm sharing it in case any of you want to be doing your own DIY shower boudoir sessions as well. So I'm gonna set it up for you. I'm gonna show you the composition and what I think about when I'm placing my shower before I start shooting. And then I will be taking behind the scenes photos so you can kind of see what it looks like, what kind of poses, what pose flow that we'll be doing today. And then of course I will share with you the final photos. So. We will be shooting on this camera. It is the Canon EOS R. I have the 35L uh, series lens on the camera as always. Our behind the scenes camera is the 60 Mark II and I have the Sigma 24 to 70 on that big boy. Um, and that is about it. So let's get this thing set up. Let's do it. So I have my shower set up on little clamps that attach to S hooks, which are attached to these little beams on my ceiling because I have ugly ass drop ceilings. So when I'm looking at the light, I need to consider which light pool lines up best with the cross beams above. I can't just put my shower willy nilly based on the best light, despite wanting to be able to do that. So here you can see this really beautiful light pocket. It's just like this nice pool of light but it doesn't line up with one of the beams how I want it to. So walk with me. <laughs> I'm gonna use this beam because there's also a nice little pool of light over here. I'm just like showing you guys my boobs, oops. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to move the bed and then I think we're gonna set up in this little corner based on the pool of light and where I can put my shower. That little beautiful pool of light. It's so nice. Looks so good. Okay, so I moved everything out of the way. I showed you the beautiful pool of light that we're working with, and now I'm gonna set this thing up. And then I'll show you how I set it up, and I'll walk you through the parts and pieces that you need if you want to make one of these for yourself. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna put it up. I'm gonna put it up there now. All right. These two light stands hold the sides. They have clamps to clamp onto the side of the plexiglass. I went with the lightest plexiglass available because I knew I'd be hanging it up from the ceiling and I wanted to make sure that it was light enough to do so. It isn't very sturdy or durable because of that. It is quite like wobbly as you'll see as I try to put it up. It's like, like a floppy piece of paper. You can get thicker ones that are quite like glass, like they're quite thick and sturdy. Um, but if you're mounting it to the ceiling, you just gotta think about weight distribution. You can also make these showers with um, wood along the sides, kind of like a picture frame, and you would put it onto a stand. But because I have very limited space in my studio, it's quite small, I didn't have anywhere to store a permanent shower set like that that's on that kind of frame. It would take up quite a bit of space, and I don't use the shower set enough for it to be worth it taking up that amount of space. So I needed something that would store really easily behind my cabinets. So that is why I opted to do just a piece of plexiglass that I can slide in and out of the storage area. And I can just mount these on the wall and I use them for other purposes as well. So that is the reasoning behind why I decided to do the like ceiling mounted one versus um, a framed in more permanent kind of shower set. Okay, that was a lot of talking. <sighs> Are you bored of listening to my voice yet? Cause I am. Let's go set this up. Okay, this is what clamps into the top of my plexiglass. Plexiglass goes here. I'm not gonna close this, that'll hurt. But the plexiglass goes in the clamp and then this attaches to the hooks that are on my drop ceilings. That's it, this is literally how I hang it. That's why I need the side things to keep it sturdy, keep it stable. This is the setup from the ceiling, doo -doo, all the way down. 
ta-da, a fake shower. Um, that's it, that's all I do. The side light stands are totally optional. I just have them there for some extra security. Um, sometimes I don't use them if I want more of like a full shower kind of look, um, but they are nice to have in case I want the client to push up against the glass. Um, and also just to kind of know that it's like a little bit more supported on the sides. Um, if you are planning on making your own shower set and you're watching this video to get kind of like inspiration on how to create your own one, I do recommend getting a thicker plexiglass than what I got, especially if you aren't hanging it from the ceiling. If you're hanging it from the ceiling, this is kind of the best option. I will say that because this plexiglass is so thin, it's hard to drill into. I would even say impossible to drill into. I have tried to put holes in it so I can just have these S hooks hanging straight from the plexiglass into the ceiling. Um, but every time I did that, because the glass is so thin, the plastic is so thin, it just shattered. Like there is just like chunks <laughs> missing from the corners now because it just split. Um, so if you have the extra weight um, and your ceiling is a little bit more like weight accepting than mine is, I would recommend getting just a little bit thicker just because you can drill hooks into it that way or kind of just have a more stable piece of glass then this little flimsy guy. That's my note on that. She's here, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Look so cute. <laughs> We're gonna do it's stuff like now. <laughs> We're in a jungle. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, you creeps. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>